Gave the order. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Boom. It's all right, that wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Sometimes you can't walk away please, from it. Please! Please! Ah! How's your memory now? Maurice won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. Yo, Maurice! Yo, what's shaking, motherfucker? Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill him otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been, anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. He'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I'm gonna handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. Chip said we're looking for gangbangers. Sweep the room. Careful, these shitbags. Wish they'd just play in their own backyard. Here's the weapon. Gunshot wounds. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime, man. Why they having to pull this shit? I'm trying to ruin it for everybody? Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of May Stadium. Gangbangers. Copy. We're sending you Secure your position for now. We're sweeping each Stadium. All right. Doesn't look right to me. Why are they killing each other? And why here, of all places? Looks like a game. Roger the polls now by Jorge Sanova, who ended with an outstanding 15-7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base steals on this team with 27 steals this series, but Sanova's like watching them the like a hawk. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Roger's not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two.
He's not moving unless I give him a reason. Get back now. You're viceroys, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing they can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. I need to see ID. Both of you. Well, I ain't showing shit. Hey, hey y'all filming this? I want to see this motherfucker online. Fine. I don't need ID. Bad boy. The police are about to lock up. Roger. We got people flying off the field. We're going in now. We're going to stop. Jordy. What? Gone? I'm allergic to cops, so is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it, I don't care. Gotta go. In that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, Stop. five, six, Stop. seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, wait. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that.
It's his first birthday without Lena. Well, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Damn it. He's on the move. Sorry, I overreacted. You just make me so crazy sometimes. Uh-huh. Come on back, okay? I promise I won't freak out on you. 